Greetings everyone, and today we're going to look at the user manager for CRD. What the user manager enables you to do is to extend the power of scheduling and business process automation to all of your users within the organization. To access the user manager, click on the system tab and then user manager. With the user manager, you can create CRD specific users or create users using Windows authentication, assign them schedules, and assign them permissions. As you see on the list on the left, this is a list of the current users on my machine. I have some users, like John Doe here, that indicates his username, his first name, last name, and security role. I can actually add another user as well. If I add this user, I click Add and I can create a user. Give him a username and then a password. I then can decide his security role. You can create user groups in this next section, and you can use any of the built-in ones as well. You can decide to automatically log on with that user, and you can decide where they have access to Loki. Loki is the web-based interface for CRD. By checking this box, that user can now log in through any browser and use the, these authentication credentials to access their schedules and run and create schedules through the web. You'll need to make sure that you have enough Loki licenses to accommodate the number of users that you need to add. You can find out more about Loki in another tutorial. Once you're satisfied with that user, you simply click OK. Let's take a look at one of my existing user schedules very quickly here. My character John Doe here, he has schedules assigned to him. Using the user manager, you can assign specific schedules to users that only they can see and use and edit and create and run. The list on the right indicates the list of schedules that John Doe can currently run. He can only see this, these, this list of schedules, and he can't see the list of schedule, any schedules from any other user in the system. Let's assign him another schedule. Simply browse through all of the list of schedules, select the one you want to assign, and click the green arrow pointing to the right. And there it is. He'll now have access to that schedule and can edit and change it and adjust it and run it if necessary. This also can depend on his permissions as well and what group he's a part of. Another way you can set up users is using Windows authentication. You can review a list of users that you would have access to, select their domain, and their group within the domain. Pull back their username and then you can assign them a CRD specific security role. Decide whether they have access to the Loki web interface and then assign that user any schedules that you like. Finally, you can create groups. These groups are permissions have permissions based on what a user can and cannot do within CRD. You can easily add a group by clicking the Add button below, and you can even edit current user groups by clicking on Edit. Simply name it, give it a description, and then decide its permissions. My HR user group only has access to the custom calendar the ability to create and edit schedules, delete schedules, and manage folders in CRD. They are unable to access anything like the system monitor, system migration, the options, or the, system, or the user manager. This adds an extra layer of security keeping your users from being able to access settings that could otherwise cause a conflict of some sort.
Once you have these users set up, you can access and return here to change their settings as well. You can remove any users that no longer have any need for the software, and by unchecking, any, unchecking the Loki box, you can remove them from their access to Loki, which will reintegrate that available license back into your pool of Loki licenses as well. Well, that's it for the user manager. Thank you very much for joining.